Oh, neat. So, new updates. You can now use a multi-tool or T-ray scanner on a grill to see if it's electrified. Makes sense. Changelings can now tear down a grill in one hit if they have harm intent enabled. This is another round, Pug Station, Secret Mode. Got my preferences set to Head of Personnel, Chaplain, and Electrician, in that order. Of course, that's no guarantee I'll get any of those. And I also have AI and Captain, as well as all of the antagonist roles enabled, so anything could happen. Although, more often than not, I'm not a traitor. And more often than not, when I am a traitor, I'm not a very good traitor. <laughs> I find that my traitoring tends to be best when I'm a chill traitor. I'm guessing that's Atomic Thumbs. It's Atomic Thumbs putting up that picture. No, it's not a picture of Atomic Thumbs. Super leg. And here we go. I am a medical doctor. Well, I wasn't expecting that at all. Where am I? Not in a normal... Oh, there's pathology lab. It looks a bit different than when I first saw it. Oh no, that's the entrance to it. Makes sense. Break room. I'm in the break room. Makes sense. Put on my latex gloves, because why not? My name is Malaki Riker. That's a mouthful. see what we got here. Inaprovaline, antitoxin, let's get both of those. And a hypospray. And... Yeah, no, I don't need anything else. So, we do that, do a little of that. And let's get a medical belt, because why not? Let's be a hardcore medical doctor this round. Be the kind of medical doctor that other medical doctors aspire to be. This station's going to be so healthy. So, put the tricord here. Put my bottles in there too. Because I don't have any doubt that I'm going to need to refill my hypo. Oh, I can't. I can't put the medical bottles in there. There's an oxygen tank. I don't need it right now. Hopefully, I won't need it. Here is a regular med kit. A burn kit. And patch box. And a toxins kit. Yeah, I'm just gonna basically take all of that. Is that chemistry here? It is too. Oh, interesting. Cool. All of hypo sprays are gone. I wonder if there's more elsewhere. There's the monkey plant. It's got the head of two monkeys on a plant. <laughs> Jane Goodall is crying somewhere. She's just spinning in her grave. Oh. 
so there's a corpse in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Any medical doctor can just... Well, oh, no. He probably just... Is this genetics here? No, that's the morgue. This room to the south. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, this is genetics right here. Okay, good to know. Well, Levi... Don't know if you suicided or not, but we'll see if we can revive you anyway. Give you a scan... View records... Clone... No, unable to initiate clo cloning cycle. Kind of what I expected. This is pretty early on the round. If a person dies that quickly, it's usually a choice they made. Once you get all those stuff, those things, you don't really need to check their pockets. Actually, I don't even know why I'm doing this. The only thing he has that I could want is maybe the lab coat. And that's just for aesthetics anyway. I don't think the lab coat really does much for you. Guess you are twice the doctor now. Kind of a lame joke, but it made me laugh. Yeah, if I'm gonna go hardcore doctor mode, I'm gonna need to grab these. These Pro Doc health goggles. Pretty handy. Gives you a little heart health indicator above everyone's head. Research. Midside cargo dock? Oh. Oh. Crate. Okay. Pretty basic stuff. Pretty much everything you'd expect. Why is... Oh, is that just the way it looks? I guess it is. It looked like there was something hiding behind that monitor. At first I thought it was some sort of graffiti or something. Like it was gang mode. If you were able to hide graffiti behind a monitor, you shouldn't. Well, I mean, it seems counterintuitive, is what I'll say. It doesn't seem like something you should be able to do. Hmm. I'm just wandering around looking for people who need help. You know what? When I'm actually doctoring, I like to just keep a med kit in my hand so people know that's what I'm trying to do. Answer me or just ignore me? Yeah, I guess he's just ignoring me. Oh. Oh. Maybe not. He was going in the right plate, the, the right way in the first place, anyway, so. Oh, man. oh. 
was on grab intent still. Feeling grabby, I guess. Is he even able to get into medbay? Just on his axis? Let's see if he tries to open the door. Oh, whatever. No, oh, and he just takes the body there, I guess. Um, where did he go? Oh, did he go down here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he was... <laughs> I guess I just told him in a kind of delayed way. Oh, well. You should be fine for now. Let us... Let us continue. I'm using this medical belt. There's nothing in here except for the one hypo spray. kind of feel like... Actually, yeah. You know what? Let's empty, partially empty one of these into that. Put a couple of tox anti-toxins syringes in there. Just one pill. No, it can't hold pills. Well, that's that, I guess. Uh, it might be useful to just leave this here. Good old Murray. It's a different kind of guard buddy. Or he's not a, really a buddy at all. Or not a guard buddy, at least. I guess the proper term is row buddy. They're all considered row buddies. Some of them are guard buddies. Most of them are actually guard buddies, but Murray's an exception. Ex an, an exception to a minor Sean Connery. Hmm. Captain, why did you kill Stry or Sterlock? Ah. Uh. I'll give him, give him a bit of help. Burns. I'll just give him a burn patch. That should fix him right up. <laughs> My bees haven't gotten here yet. Lame. Well, he was a little damaged over there, but then he just walked away. Oh well. I can't heal them all. Sometimes they just they they just they just not they're not they're not have any of that. Stutter, stutter, stutter. I like that there's a light switch, just for these three light tubes here. Oh no, it's for this whole hallway. It's just that light is coming in through the windows from other rooms anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't think Shroom Station had light switches for the hallways. But I remember there's supposed to be something different about the way light switches and lights work on the station. Hmm. 
Well, somebody came to a gruesome end here. Looks like somebody was standing right here and then just exploded in four directions. Oh. Safari hat? Is that one of the... What? Huh. Dirty rig. This is the chaplain's office, yeah. Hmm. Toupee? What exactly? Huh. I wonder why there's all those different types of costume gear in there. Usually there's some for the chaplain, for him to dress up for different types of religions, but none of that really seemed like it would make sense for a religion. Unless maybe that's the point. It's just supposed, supposed to be silly. Still, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be there. Or if somebody... Somebody who shouldn't have been there went in there. Then again, it could have just as easily been the chaplain taking costume gear from elsewhere and leaving it in there. Help, blind in genetics. Scotty is a traitor. What? Oh, Jebediah Flare Arms. He's that security officer led to genetics. Ooh. -ooh. Let's let's see if I can help him out. He's irradiating the shit out of me. Oh man. I've been in there I've been in that situation before. You go to the genetics looking for help. And then they just lock you in the DNA scanner and keep pounding you with radiation. It's not very fun. Is that Jeb there? Yeah, it is too. Uh, let's see. Has he been treated already? He probably has. Yeah, his health... I can tell just by his health indicator. It's going up. I don't know why I put that in my backpack. Here's the new, the new electronics. It's a little bit sad. The electricians don't get any privacy at all. It used to have, it used to be that they had almost full privacy back on Donut Station. And then on Shroom Station, it was kind of not really privacy, but they could kind of get away from the main hallway window. But here, you can see the entire. Electronics lab. Comptech. Yeah, actually. One of these... Cardi Party, that's what I'm looking for. One of these has... Cool little PDA modules. With my pin number. Shoot. 5306. Shh, don't tell anybody. No, oh, of course I do. Mistype it. Card authorized. Can I afford to get the high power flashlight? Oh yeah, it's a hundred. I should be able to. Heck yeah. We'll just pocket that for now. Heck, I can see myself coming back to this all the time. I, especially the, for the Medu cartridge something I always tend to do as an assistant or someone. Just find a random medical PDA lying around and take the Medu cartridge out of that. can be pretty handy. I mean, as handy as knowing how dead you are is. Hmm, this is all engineering up there. Actually, yeah. So, oh, yikes. Uh, 
Um, dude. I'm trying to help you here. He's got burns and brute. It used to be that Tricordrazine was a lot more dangerous to use. Oh. Sorry if I seem a bit paranoid. No, wasn't genetics then pipe bombed. What? Who was... Oh, crap. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shit. The clown is down. The clown is down! Let's help him out. Get away from the window. Ah, no. Guillermo's dead. What's that guy? The clown is almost dead. Heck, let's give him another shot. If anyone needs the tricord right now, it's him. Uh, let's not stand by that door. Oh man. I'm never going to be able to install this module, am I? I gotta kind of juggle my equipment around. Transfer that. Transfer that. Um. Alright. Uh, yeah, okay. That's that's fine. Oh, this clown must be in a bad way. Give him ten units of tricord, and he's still down. Still in crit. Uh, let's try to check this again. Got hit by that laser pretty hard. Uh, wait. How much is he healing? Oh no, he's out of crit now. He did have some suffocation damage, it's gone now. Did I lose? Yeah, I lost a little bit of help. I mean health. Ah. I think I just got pushed by the cloaker. I could be mistaken. No. It might, maybe it was just the monkey trying to walk past me. This clown is still in a bad way. 80. 79. 78. Okay, he's slowly healing. He's got 15 units of tricord in him. It might take a little while, but he should be fine. Oh, okay. There's this buddy here. Dude, you're standing on top of him. I'm trying to help him. Um, what the... Oh. 
dude. Is the cloaker still in there? Well, let's, let's check this guy out. 141 brute. Uh, he's slowly healing as well. You know what? I'll just load him up with tricord. Oh, it's empty now. Man, that's emptying pretty quickly. Heck, you know what? I'll take Sandy's to the cryo labs. The cryo tubes, rather. <laughs> the, the cryo labs, the special cryo cryogenic laboratories. He's down for some reason, but he's healthy enough. Holy crap. Okay, this is the pipe bomb that Sandy's was talking about. He is emagged. Must be referring to Beepski. That's. Can we get to. Okay, here's the cryotubes here. Sandy's is in rough shape, and I do mean rough shape. Let's not. Actually, yeah, let's get this set up properly first. So this is. No, it doesn't need to be opened. This is already set up, mostly. Uh, let's turn this one on. Put him in here. 78 Calvin. Is that what we want? It actually tells you in the objective, which is nice. Oh yeah, below 225 Calvin. So that will help him. And since I'm not in the middle of anything else, it might be kind of nice if I just leave a coffee for him there. Oh, crap. This area is depressurizing. Uh, come on, guys. Let's not suffocate here. Uh, oh. The equipment is down. Let's just get the heck out of here. Go to a cop. Well, this equipment is down as well. Oh, man. Terrell Wil Wilkerson, you're just in rough shape whenever I see you. The antitoxins, then the inaprovaline. Probably got, still got a fair bit of tricord in the system anyway, but I'd probably use just a bit more. Oh, nice. They have both the different soda machines side by side, which is nice. On Shroom Station, there was kind of a shortage of the robustes type vending machines. <laughs> Someone was trying to put zip tie cuffs on. Albert. Oh. Did I see... Oh, yeah. This guy. He's in trouble. Oh, man. That miner is in trouble, too. Oh, and I'm slowly suffocating. Uh, wait. Oh. I want grab intent. really going through the tricord. There's a funny table set up there. I think I'm almost out here. Yeah, I'm out. Well then. Actually, no. That's... Leaving around medicine bottles, if they're empty, is kind of misleading. There's a mechanic uniform. Okay, cool.
Okay, so that's what those uniforms are. I noticed them before. But then I saw there wasn't a new job or anything. I wonder if mechanic's going to become a new job. Or it's just going to be one of those things, like barber. It's not actually a, a job, but there's a uniform for it that you can grab and declare yourself a barber. So, yeah, there's some power outage there. Looking to test out some grenade stuff in chemistry, but I can't work out how to make a metal case. mentor help sometimes. Sometimes people will ask a question and all of the mentors just ignore it, including myself sometimes. You know, if I'm in the middle of something else. And then sometimes yeah, you, you sign on mentor help and then get spammed with answers. Usually mostly the same. Although it gets interesting when there's some dissent as well. Someone who might be the head of personnel going in here for some reason. Doesn't matter. Hopefully this guy isn't the traitor. Even though he's wearing body armor and a SWAT helmet. He didn't shoot me, so that's a plus. Oh man. Is there a geneticist down in here? Hmm. What do you want, buddy? You just want to take his gloves. That's right. Okay, so... Part of the reason I came back here for the medicine. So let's... oh. The vendors are down. Shoot. Well, there should be still stuff in the lockers. And I don't have a crowbar, of course. Shoot. Well, and this guy's in trouble. Is this Alfalfa? No, it's Frankie Smith. He just happens to look like Alfalfa. Uh, I guess I could have brought him the other direction. 
let's let's give them something to stabilize which is what inaprovaline is supposed to be for ah what are you guys doing come on Frankie stay with us It's just mostly suffocation damage. It's not too hard to recover from that. Some brute damage. And I'll give him a couple of healing patches. wake up at all? Identity, clothes. That's something that's something I'm kind of always trying to announce as a security officer. When I see someone in, who's causing trouble, I make sure to not only say their name, but also a short description. Like, if they look like a quartermaster, I'll just say he's a quartermaster. But if he's in kind of a weird setup, like a pink jumpsuit and a welding mask, then I'll make sure to mention that. Especially when it's something that sticks out, or something that's kind of looks normal. If he looks like just a normal gray suited assistant with black hair, I'll say that too. You know, kind of like this guy here, except not quite so much like Hitler. The bones good. Actually, ETA shuttle's almost here. Let's see if we can get to the shuttle this time. That'd be kind of entertaining, finding the shuttle. Still got my kit out. This is just the model of a good medical doctor here. I mean, shoot, now I just kind of sound like I'm tooting my own horn. But this is what you want to look like when you're a medical doctor. You're a dude, mostly wearing white, with a white med kit. Med kit. Trying to open unpowered doors. Well, no, I'm joking about that. Uh, let's go to this intersection here. Yeah. This is escape. Ooh. Right across from the entrance to engineering. Good to know, good to know. The cool thing about this escape shuttle is that there are two escape arms, one on either side of the shuttle. And if you think that sounds safe, well, it is, but at the end of each escape arm is this probably unnecessary airlock. just for people to bolt open and then put space lube in front of just to really screw people up. Actually that wouldn't be a bad that wouldn't be a bad plan for a trader at escape time. You just take if you've got an e-mag and a welder 
weld and then e-make this airlock here so that nobody can open it. Do whatever with this. Keep it open, I guess. And then e-make this open. Just placing space loop around here so people can't help but walk through. Walk through there and then slip out the airlock just as they're trying to escape. I can see that particular scenario being played out over and over and over again on the station. What's this guy running around with a ham for? Uh -oh. Space pig ham. Well, he's not standing still long enough for me to treat him, so... Whoa. Your key fizzle beef farts on the Bible. Well, that is what happens when you fart on the Bible. You get smited. Smited hard and smited good. Top secrets has a bit of toxin damage. Uh, do I have? Yeah, I have a toxin syringe here somewhere, don't I? No, I have it on my belt. Not a toxin syringe, but an anti-toxin syringe. Topsy is fine. Okay, then. They try to respect people's beliefs. If they if they don't want treatment, then I'm not going to force it on them. Archer Ameswell is really excited about something. So I wonder who here is the traitor. Or more than one traitor, perhaps. I've got no doubt that at least one traitor has gone through this. Uh. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, the escape shuttle is a little small. I wonder if it's intentionally supposed to be a bit smaller. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 by 5. So there's. Well, room for between 40 and 50 here at least. Did any traders escape? No! Oh wow, I'm kind of surprised. But there's only two... There's three traitors. <laughs> Clowns are always fun. Those sec buddies suck. Damn it, guys. Well, that was... Not an extremely... Busy round, but it was quite enlightening. Banging donk on it. Boogie bots. Ice cream. Saxophone. Space drum. Quite a way to end the game.